but you might not realize is that these are all the same video what I did hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about how you take pieces of a full video and extract the parts and create lessons from it to create a course right so we're going to talk about how you can create a course a simple course now we're not talking about a complicated course a super advanced course or anything like that we're talking about a simple course where you're just trying to um, give uh, your your students the ability to kind of easily navigate the topics right so we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets now obviously there's lots of different ways to do this but this is I'm doing this episode because last week I actually did an episode on how to create a simple course and now I'm going to actually how to prepare I guess or how to choose the topics now we're going to talk about how you actually take that video because I did record that video with pieces I want out into a course we're going to show you how to do that before we go there though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio you're going to want to go check out the video at cis421.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to share my screen and be showing you how to use the tool and uh and there's going to be a blog post as well right so go check that out all right so let's get right to it I'm just going to share my screen here and show you what I'm talking about so you have a course idea right you want to host it on a course website and you recorded a video that contains all you know you already know what you're talking about you already explained that you already recorded a video and now you want to create a course from it so this is what we're going to be talking about we're going to talk about how to take a course like for example if I take um let's see this course here which is the one I talked about last week as well <clears throat> if I take this course you can see that <clears throat> you can see that it's a bunch of little videos right two minutes 20 seconds three minutes five or sec five seconds two minutes three minutes anyways what you might not realize is that these are all the same video what I did is I recorded a video and I've done that lots of times like I could even do that with some of the other stuff I have that I never split up but we're going to show you how you take a long video like for example I've got a long video right here oops <clears throat> I guess that didn't work hold on there so I've got a long video right here that is uh where's the time it doesn't even say how long it is uh -huh. um <clears throat> I could I got rid of the preview here so let's could let's put it back <clears throat> so this is a 41 minute video right so it's obviously 41 minutes is too long for a course lots of people will not listen in to the whole thing now I do this every week I have these long videos but I do take pieces out and I do take uh sections out and and in this case I'm actually going to do a course from it which had to do with my tool active group users right so let's just get right to it right now let's get to the tool so what I use is a tool called op um, open shot video editor now open shop is actually free you can actually download it you just go to open shop open shot just look for open shot download and you can install it on a mac on a pc on a linux on windows um, and the way it works is you can see right here that now there's different uh, views but I've set it to this where you basically have the list of files here you have the video preview here and you have your tracks so we're not going to get into the details of how to use open sh open shot for all the come you know the advanced features we're just going to do the simple thing I'm going to go into my folder where I have my uh, video that I want to use which is going to be this original one which is this one here which is a 41 minute video I'm just going to take it I'm going to drag it right here 
so that adds it to my project right <clears throat> then I need to put it in a track so it's pretty simple I just drag it down to one of the tracks I can put it on multiple tracks but we're just going to use the one track right now so I'm just going to put it right here and it shows up in the track right now now uh you can right click it to uh display show waveform I like to do that because it shows the audio waveform and <clears throat> this takes a little bit of time so I'll be right back okay so after a few months you're going to see that the um audio is there so now what we want to do is we want to go find over here so let's just kind of show you how this works oops let's just try it right there whoops so if you if I just click inside of this like the I guess ruler <laughs> for lack of a better word it'll go to that particular spot in the video right so if I click here I click here or wherever I can play if I click on the play button right here it'll actually start playing that video right there right okay so now what we want to do is we want to go find the spot where I the part that I want to take out now I took notes and I know that it's at the minute 21 by the way before we go into that let's just kind of talk about the zooming in whenever you have your video on here you can you press the con on a on a, I don't know what it is on a Mac maybe it's uh, the command but on the PC you press control and you use your your scroll right your scroll button here on your mouse to scroll down or scroll up right if I scroll down basically what happens is the uh, timeline if I scroll all the way down okay so if I scroll all the way down what happens <coughs> is that the entire video timeline shows up here see how it says zero to 42 right there so that's how long this video is it's 42 minutes or a little less I suppose but that shows me the whole timeline there so I can scroll I can go to any part of the video just by clicking the timeline up here right if I want to see granularity of timing I I would zoom in and you'll see down here I guess my face is in the way let's move my video out of the way here <coughs> okay there you see down the bottom here where it ends if I zoom in that'll no longer show see how it's 40 keep zooming in okay now you see you see that it's going up to 36 I'm not sure maybe I have to be clicking on this 32 oh right I'm sorry I'm missing something is because it's showing you see how it goes from 21 to 29 now it's only 10 10 minutes the whole thing is only 10 minutes that's because I zoomed in to the section now what I'm looking for right now is the 21 minute 20 seconds right about here and what I want to do is I want to go take that part of the video so I gotta play, let's turn the audio on so you can hear me talking inside the video I just press the play here right now to kind of show you what it looks like so basically if you go to active this is actually too much ahead of what I want so I'm going to back up here a little bit I'm going to start again of course uh, the tool active group users it's a chrome extension I'm actually going to share my still too far ahead so let's go back to here I want to find the exact spot where I actually start talking about it there you go I think, I think you get the idea so I'm going to just start recording this right now and we're going to go like this hey John Serge Gagnon here so today I just okay so you see how I just started saying hey John Serge Gagnon right that's basically where I want the video to start in the lesson number one right so I'm going to do that for lesson number one so I'm just going to back up a tiny bit here Let me back up again over here I'm just going to do that I'm recording this right now and we're going to go like this hey John sir actually I missed that so let's just zoom in here again to get the exact and you know the thing too is that right now because I'm recording and I'm doing this and I'm doing that there's there's my 
computer is slower because it's doing more things so whenever you're doing just this it wouldn't be as bad as this right so let's just zoom into here just so that we have a better 21 04 20. so I'm just going to watch and you can also when you press the play right you can actually see this thing moving so I'm going to press the play you'll start to see it moving yeah. and like I said the computer is slow because there's too much going on um you know just wanting to just do a quick really quick easy simple course you want you don't want to waste well not waste I guess I should say you don't want to take too much time trying to figure out the best way to do it and the best quality and the best this your tools are your tools just use your camera use your webcam you can even use your phone to record it right um because it's a simple thing it's you want to be real you want to be you know anyway so okay so I think you get the idea so I'm going to just start recording this right now and we're going to go like this okay so I, let's say that that's the spot I wanted so what you're going to do here is you're going to right click on this little red line or this thing up here and you're going to say slice and because in this case I don't care about what's on you know the left side I only want to keep what's on the right side it'll automatically get rid of the everything in the video that's before this spot right so the left side and the right side basically lets you choose which side you want to keep right so I'm going to keep the right side I'm going to keep the right side I'm going to get rid of the left side so I'm going to do this keep right side and that basically gets rid of all of the video up to that point right and now I want to find the end of me what I you know what I'm talking about in this particular video which is kind of the introduction right because if you remember correctly like if I go back to my this uh this this page here so these notes that I had it's been loaded yet right there so these notes that I had before right was this I had an introduction I had what the tool for how to create this is what I recorded the last episode if you didn't if you weren't there but these are all the pieces that I want to extract out of the video right so I should have taken notes as to when each part started and <clears throat> that way it would have made it easier for me to uh you know kind of come in here and edit this right but let's just uh hope hope I'm gonna guess right lets you go to their profile to engage on their posts all right so that's that's the video number one so that was the end of it right here it's just right posting that are commenting in the groups and then it lets you go to their profile to engage on their posts there we go so that was the end of that so then again I come here I say right click I say slice now I want to keep the left side because it's the part that's before this right so I'm going to keep the left side and we get rid of the other side so now you can see that I just have this video length now I'm not sure there must be a way to make this just go straight to the beginning here but I've I've been dragging it like this right to bring it to the beginning but I'm not sure there's and then you can just kind of see you down here you can kind of scroll right I'm sure there's a way to just have it automatically sh start the beginning of the video <clears throat> where'd it go 
oh I put it on track two now all right can I just press enter or something no it doesn't work maybe this does it no that's just showing me where am I where I'm in the full timeline so you gotta basically you gotta bring bring it back to the zero point in the maybe if I right click there's a time I don't I don't know I don't know so it looks like it's moving it if I took this little red thing can I move that no. sorry about that I'm still learning some of this tool right <clears throat> we're still learning how to use some of this tool but I just kind of want to at least show you how to get one piece of the video out it is a lot of work as you can see it's not that simple right it's not that simple to do that there you go so now once I've gotten it all the way to the beginning here it doesn't go further right so now it's at the beginning of the timeline now what I can do is I can say save as or export I should say export video right and I'm going to export that as a video to a location let me see I want this to be HD 720 or maybe I, I would want it to be a different format right it's like 1080p right or 1080p 2997 that's probably a normal extraction I am, and I'm going to say active group because this is actually for this course right I'm going to say zero one oops I got the uh, so there <clears throat> and I'm going to change where that goes that doesn't belong there it goes right into one of these folders um mm -mm. under chrome extensions social pro active group users and I'm just going to create a new folder here so like course 2022 <clears throat> so I'm going to put it right here oh select folder yep yeah that's just the folder it's in and I'm going to say export video so this will take a little bit we'll come back when it's done and it finishes and tells you it's done right so now what we do is we go to it we can actually go to the folder I just created here uh let's see I've got that here let's go up to here let's open it in a new folder new window sorry so let's just go into my chrome extension the folder I put it in right so if I go in there there so now I have this video it's right here so I can actually play that video which will be just the section that I wanted for that lesson which is a two minute video right and we're gonna go like this hey John Serge Gagnon here so today which I didn't cut right as you can see it starts off with me and we're gonna go like this hey John Serge so it's like basically what two seconds I needed to cut it earlier than that so then two seconds so that's one of the things that's really kind of annoying about all this obviously because I'm doing the recording it's not I mean I probably could have um you know I should have I should have right over here I should have actually done this like this and we're gonna go like this hey I John Sir Gagnon right here, here so today I just noticed that there was something missing right so let's just go back here and let's just cut out the first two seconds and 
it's sorry as I keep saying this is slow because because my computer is really busy and doing too many things so I'm just going to go right here I'm going to say slice I'm going to keep the right side and then I'm going to move that back to here beginning go back to the beginning here and see how that goes Hey John Serge Gagnon here so today I just want to talk to you about my course at the tool right. so now now we have the right video we're going to do it again we've got to go to file we're going to go export video it'll already be in the right folder and it'll uh have this as the default I'm going to do the same thing again it's actually going to be active group users zero one introduction now if it's the same video as you can see it went back to HD I'm not sure how you make this a uh, default but let me just put it at 720p right now so export video if that video already exists um well, I guess is it going to override it that's something I, I know, don't really know oh I actually have the different name here <laughs> one had dash the other one didn't have the dash and it was that's why it's doing a new video but it, it the only thing only difference would have been that it would have said uh, you want to overwrite and confirm right so like uh just like the other one it's going to do the export right here it's going to take a while see it's at two percent so we'll come back when it's done and there we go so we're done let's go look at the new video now which is going to be I think this one right isn't it yeah 1280 see how this one's 1280 and this one was so it took less time actually obviously yeah it would take less time if I double click it we should be able to see whether it's correct or not hey John Serge Gagnon here so today I just want to talk to you about so my you know, course the, the tool active group because you of like I said it's just the performance right now because my computer is doing a whole bunch of stuff and where it finishes up let's go to the end here and that's it so that's perfect so that's actually exactly what I want so now I have let's delete this one we don't need this one so now I have this one intro obviously we got to do the same thing for every single video that we want in here so how would you go about you can come back in here and you can put this back here you can go to track two if you want the same exact video we can get rid of this just delete it click on it and then delete the delete key and now we have again the same video so now we know that we need to go to and actually this is a part that I I didn't know about but if I mouse if I use this I can actually go scroll through the timeline as you can see this way right so again uh in this case I did not I don't have the audio as you can see it doesn't have the audio I right click remember we say properties display show waveform we're not going to do that right now because we don't really don't really need it but if I go here and I go to the next part which is 23 22 23 or something was where we were right so let's go to 23 right here how's that is that right so now what we want to do is we want to find the second video which would be right after this right video and I'm going to talk about what is this tool used for right so as you can see I in the original full video that I did last week right I recorded the little piece and then I and then between I started talking about the other um uh, the next section right and uh, I could go and show you but I want to show you because I did this as I was recording which is a lot harder to fix figure out because I'm doing all sorts of other things I'm talking so there's a couple of things that you're going to want that you can do there's a couple of things you can do when you're recording a full video and then you plan on trimming the pieces out you can do it with some some people will just clap like this because they're using the audio this tool I find uh open shot not to be that great to use the audio so what I'm what I did is I do this with my hands so that I can see okay this is between two videos right now so I'm going to do that with the other video I have it should be in here is it no not here 
over here over here. okay so I did another recording with more sessions because you know when I did this video here I recorded all these things but then afterwards I did other recordings like things that have to do with being an affiliate using the tool entering groups all that kind of stuff which I did afterwards and I recorded as a totally separate video that's not even part of my episode but I needed those pieces to be in the course as well so this is what this this is what this is right this one here if I take this active group users videos I just take that bring it over here now it's inside my project I can put it right here on track two if I want well, I guess it ended up on track three for some but that again that's just the computer it's just the computer's too slow there's too much stuff going on oh actually I don't want it there I wanted it the beginning let's delete both of these things then just go to the beginning of the timeline there at the beginning of the timeline and I'm going to take this and put it right here at the beginning of the time there we go okay so now this video here if we just play it oh well actually we're at just a few things to note so as the it. job is running right as the scrape is happening you'll see and I'm uh, I kind of started recording now if I go here and I just kind of move ahead and actually you know what another way this is probably a way that's going to be faster for us another way is to find the start and end points of your video using the video uh, the actual video player right so if I open this up and I just play this so I'm just I just double clicked it by the way if I just double click it and play that now well, just a few things to note as the right? if I try to so close I, this window I'll right now it. but if I just take this cursor and move it along you see my hands up right there there's my two hands up right here <laughs> that looks great right but anyways that means this is you know between two topics so now I can easily find because this is this is seven minutes eight right so seven minute eight is the end of one and the previous one let's go back here that's a long one eh isn't it so that would be the beginning I did it when I first started I did just one hand but afterwards I decided to do two hands so from one minute 40 to seven minute 08 is one section and if I go now 708 until yeah there's the 708 right and then if I keep going down here see there's the other one right so 1028 is the middle the next section right so now I know between 708 and 1012 or around there is where I want to go so if I go down here and I go to 708 let's use this so six there's seven like right about here it's 708 right so let's just play as you can see I'm doing this with my hands just to make sure that it's seen All right. inside the video so let's get to it and then I'm going to start the next so time. let's talk there you go so now I said so let's talk right so this would be where I would trim it so I just right click on this slice I want to keep the right side only and then I go to the other uh which was what did I say 10 something right Nine thirty. there it is so 10 08 right let's go back and let's just play see where that ends first name and you can kind of see the different columns you can choose right here you can choose other columns let's say I do want to have the last name I'll put it back and I'll do that now the last name is back right 
so that's kind of what you can do with the columns you can like when you click on this columns button it lets you choose the columns um that's that's pretty much the extent of the columns there we go so let's just back up a little bit here and there we go so now let's just right click here and slice keep left side again we have the selection here that we have that we got to move all the way to the beginning by the way there's other tools that you can use obviously there's probably maybe some better tools that I like this because obviously it's free but there's uh, lots of other tools that lets you do video editing and cutting and pasting and clipping and things like that right so let's just go back here and play so let's talk about the columns you can see there's a bunch of so this is going to be the video about columns I'm just going to save that right now I'm going to export project export video and we're going to call this active group users I have no idea what number it is but let's say 10 columns right and of course if I did this right I would have one two three four I would be doing them in sequence but this is just to kind of show you how the process works so click on export and that'll save that video to your folder all right so I, we're already in 30 minutes here I hope that this has given you some um some insights into how to the tools you can use like I said OpenShot is one of the free editors you can get online I don't get any commissions or anything obviously on this but if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gaillon until next time